Now I'm here with Matt Kendall from White's Motors in Portsmouth and he's going to show us a few simple things that you can check on your car to maintain it properly. Uh, we'll start with the basics, the oil. Okay. Uh, nice and clearly displayed on more modern cars. Uh, you've got an oil can there, dipstick, move the dipstick. Wipe it clean so you know where to start. Okay. Back in. And then remove it again. You'll find there's a quite clearly serrated mark on there, so anywhere between the two marks you would like to see it. I haven't got any washer fluid in this. How on earth do I fill that up? Matt? Once again, nice and clearly displayed on the top of the washer bottle. You have a look and see on that. We have some pre-mixed screen wash solution. Okay. Nice and easy. Top up into there. You can also check the coolant. Okay. Once again, nice and clearly displayed on top of the coolant bottle there. If you have a look, quite a nice bright fluid in there. So, and on the side here, there will be a clear mark of the minimum and maximum lines. So, what about um, the fluid that you put in there? Is it just normal water? Or? No, no. Always refer to handbook with that. So, usually, it's a mixture of the antifreeze and water. <laughs> OK, Matt, we've looked under the bonnet. What about the tyre? If you have a look across the tread, make sure there's a nice even wear across all of there. You will see various marks in there, which are the legal, which is above the legal limit. Legal limit's 1.6 mil across three quarters, or the centre three quarters of the tread. So, okay, so what about um, pressures? I mean, how, first thing, how would I find out what it needs to be? Most of the time, if you refer back once again to the manual, or if you have a look, they'll either be in the door shut or in behind the fuel flap. Petrol stations yep. mainly will have uh, all, the, all the necessaries to uh, check the pressures and also add them if they're low. So.